more personal drama. Um, I might have mentioned a while ago my love. Uh, this is something probably only the Antipodean, um, maybe some of the British, but um, we have this food, which I don't think Americans have. I'm not sure if Europeans are familiar with meat pies. And I don't really, I, I don't, to me, these are like the best things in the world. Um, but at the same time, it's probably because it's comfort food that I grew up with. Um, it, it is essentially shepherd's pie or sort of English food. So, you know, I'm not going to pretend it's high cuisine. It's not. But, you know, um, meat pies that we have in New Zealand and Australia um, are very, very good. And um, they're, they're one of those things that I don't expect to ever find in Japan. You can actually find them from the Meat Guy Japan, um, the meatguy.com, which is a Japan uh, meat ordering website. It's an Aussie guy. Well, you can buy these for like $8 each, which I did a few times and they were good. But, you know, these are things that you buy for like a dollar back in New Zealand. There was actually a whole, um, you know, um, chain called a Georgie Pie that was just like, it's basically like Taco Bell with meat pies. And you'd go there at four o'clock in the morning when you were drunk and you would have these scalding hot meat pies. <laughs> uh, always blow on the pie. That's a that's a New Zealand reference. Uh, and, um, yeah, it, it was... Uh, it, it was good, good food. It's one of those things that I never expect to find in Japan, but when I come to Japan, or when I go back to Australia to see my mum, or I go to New Zealand to see my dad, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is go put a meat pie in the microwave or the oven and eat one because I love them, and they're just, I never get them when I'm in Japan. So all my dreams came true at once last year in 4 and 20, which is pretty much the standard uh, the standard frozen meat pie that you get at the supermarket or, or at the footy in Australia. Not fancy, not flash, not artisanal. There are fancy meat pies in New Zealand and Australia. There are people who take their meat pies very seriously, and 4 and 20 is as basic as it gets. It, it is the Aussie pie. It is the, 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 the VB or 4X of, of, of Aussie pies. And whenever I say to my Kiwi friends, I actually like 4 and 20 better than I like the New Zealand ones, that's like sacrilege in New Zealand. But I really, really like the 4 and 20 pies. It's one of the things I look forward to going to Australia for. So when I found out that 4 and 20 were selling these in 7-Elevens, like two 7-Elevens, like within close walking distance of my house last year, I was in heaven. So I was going up there like, um, you know, particularly when I was working from home, um, my, my son and my wife won't allow me to eat them when they're in the house. So uh, I only eat them basically when I'm working from home and they're both out, which is, you know, most of the time uh, that isn't during Golden Week. So I've been eating two or three of these per week, basically, um, you know, just for at lunchtime. Uh, and they are wonderful. And it's been it's added a whole layer of quality to my life in Japan to be able to have these uh, meat pies. However, I noticed a few weeks ago uh, that the uh, one of the the, the Seven Elevens that had them suddenly didn't have them anymore, and I thought, oh, they must be out of stock. Um, so I will uh, I will go to the other Seven Eleven which still had them. So I went and got a whole bunch from there, and then I went there a few weeks later, and they did they weren't selling them there either. And it sounds like they've slowly been disappearing from all over Japan. Um, and so you know, and this is the thing. I dig up to the supermarket this morning, and I still basically kind of wistfully go into 7-Eleven hoping maybe they're going to come back. I go through the frozen food section looking for my love and uh, if she is not there. You know, I look for the red and yellow packaging and, you know, I see some yellow packaging. I get excited. Could it be my meat pies? And no. And I cry a little bit and I leave. This has become my routine. It's just 7-Eleven a, a, a has just become a very sad place for me. Uh, and I was mentioning, is anyone else feeling sad? It turns out a lot of other people have noticed the same thing and are also feeling sad. So I sent some, um, you know, and the thing is, if I could buy these online, if I could buy these like on Rakuten or Amazon or something like that, or, you know, apparently you can get them from Costco, although someone also chimed in that they even stopped selling them in Costco. So it could be a supply issue right now. But um, in Costco, you know, you have to be a member, you have to have a car, you have to drive out to the middle of nowhere. I don't have a car. You know, I, 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 I live in I live centrally in, in Tokyo and I don't want to pay a member. I mean, I want me pies, but I don't want to pay a membership for it. I, you know, and these things were available a couple of weeks ago. So let me just buy them somewhere. If anyone knows how to buy these things, I will appreciate the information. However, um, uh, to four and 20, uh, if you are watching this, um, please, please, this is like this is you can't you can't just uh Tag us along and play with our feelings like this, and then yank it away. 
Um, too many things in Japan. The, the the limited edition. This was not a limited edition deal. This was not a Choco Mint. This is not the Tropicana Mexican Lime, which also won't come back and is the best drink I've ever had in Japan. That was here for like three months as a summer seasonal limited edition thing two years ago. And it won't come back. And I really want Tropicana Mexican Lime to come back. But these things, they were selling for like a solid year. I was loyal. I was I was buying all of them. And they won't come back. So 4 and 20, if you're watching this, please um, just sell it directly. Sell it over the Internet. Seriously, set up an online store. And um, believe me, I, lots of people will buy them. If you can't get 7-Eleven to carry them, which was like an amazing coup that you got them to do that. And I was hoping that they would catch on. And I don't know if that's the issue. I don't know if there's another reason that you stop selling them. I, I don't care. So long as you just come back to me. Uh, you know, uh, I just want to be together again, 4 and 20, and I don't care, you know, whatever, whatever your works for you, but please, I suggest selling yourself online, you know, I, I think that's the answer, um, you know, the pies, uh, so yes, this is what I, what I hope happens, um, you know, I'm not crying, you're crying, uh it's it's been it's been a tough couple of months uh and noticing that uh that they that they these are now gone but uh yeah anyway uh i think i found some that you can still uh order from costco but apparently they're getting rid of those stocks as well so yeah you know that is that is tough times meatpies.co.jp is there is that an actual url atomic tom I, I am tempted to go look that up um I, i've seen the villies ones anyway but uh anyway back into the comments um some people um, do 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 people understand oh you have them in north america in fact i'm just thinking you know what i think i actually had meat pies and cider in seattle um with um some people i met there and that were they were actually excellent the, the cider and the meat pies were both excellent were they pasties but yeah yeah um but i mean these are like you know um you know every every street corner has them in new zealand and australia and it's something you sort of take for granted but uh Okay, Costco or 7-Eleven tastes like crap. 350 yen at 7-Eleven, uh, yeah. Um, yes, I like 4 and 20. It's, it, like I said, it's comfort food. I'm not, I'm not pretending they're the best pies in the world. And like, I know you can get fancy pies, but you can't get anything in Japan. So, you know, um, believe me, I'm, I'm perfectly happy when I go back to Australia once every one or two years to just go up to the supermarket and get a 4 and 20 and put it in. And yes, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I, if I was fussier than that, I'd never, I'd never be able to do that. Pie and V. <laughs> yes, I love V. Did I mention that? I must have mentioned that. This must be information I've given you. I love V. Uh, when I'm in Australia, I, I drink V. V is from New Zealand, by the way. But I love the taste of it. And when I'm doing like long drives in the, the heat of Australia, like going down a Gold Coast uh, to surf and stuff, uh, I, I have a ton of V. Pies and V. That's exactly uh, what I... <laughs> JZM, you know me. You you know me well. Uh, so yes, it did add to my quality. It did indeed. It, well, you know, it added to the quality of my life. My quality is always the same. Uh, but yes, you know that you can buy them online. I know that I'm looking for them online. I can't find where I can buy them online. Um, you know, I found a couple of the the chunky ones to look at. That is from Rockstar where I found some. But I'm hearing that even Costco is stopping stocking them, and I want the mince ones. I want the ones that they were selling at 7-Eleven. So TQSM, I cannot find them, but yes. Um, maybe they haven't been able to import uh, because of the pandemic export issues. That I, I hope so. We'll see. Um, yes, uh, and I, yes, I know I have a lot of stories, and I'm spending a lot of time talking about uh, my meat pie issues. Uh, these are these are serious things. These are personally disturbing, and um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the JVlog, yes, I also noticed that when you search Amazon Japan for meat pie, you do end up with a lot of adult content, and I don't understand how that, that would even work. I mean, they're far too hot, uh, and not in that sort of a way, but you know you know what I mean, right? Uh, no, I, I, I guess that it must mean something else here. I have no idea, but uh, yes, maybe be careful when you say in Japan that you have a meat pie addiction. Although, honestly... <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Shubas, good to have you, Shubas. I'm glad that you made it. Uh, you're vegan. Hey, they do excellent vegan meat pies as well, by the way. Um, that's where you get into the fancy pies. You get the spinach, and uh, well, it depends. If you're full on vegan, then you wouldn't have the cream. You wouldn't have the um, cottage cheese and, and spinach. But you know, you can get you know, have nice spinach ones and stuff. 